Hey guys, it's Gamer Guy coming at you. Um, wanted to show you my Kindle. I got this nice little uh, this little case here for it, which is pretty cool. It's the Kindle Fire. It's called the Root Case. The thing was only like 15 bucks or whatever. You can stand it up like so. You can also take it off the base. So you just have a nice little deal there. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is address some of the issues that people are talking about about the Kindle. Um, people are saying they're getting slow internet with it, or slow surfing speeds. Um, and that the screen is kind of freaky. Uh, like really sensitive sometimes, and other times it's not that sensitive. I mean, yeah, I do get some issues with the screen sometimes. Um, but most of the time it's not bad at all. And as far as surfing goes, I don't know what anybody is even talking about. I mean, look, this is a stock browser, right? All right, let's see. Well, they say that these pages are slow, especially desktop pages. Um, let's look up YouTube. It's notorious because it's all flash, just about. One, two, three, four, five seconds. I loaded a whole page of YouTube in five seconds. Let's go to the home page here. Is that the home page? Uh, let me just click on a video real quick. See, it's loading me the the mobile. It'll pick between mobile and desktop versions of the websites. Let me just go straight to YouTube here. And also, I got two browsers, by the way. I got a Dolphin browser, which is pretty good, and then the stock browser. I'm just going to go with the stock browser for now. Yeah, it keeps popping up my mobile one. Let me turn this off here. Now, the mobile is pretty fast, but I don't like the mobile sites. Uh, you know, unless you're looking for speed, you can actually change it to, uh, where is it here, desktop or mobile view. Just click on desktop view. Let me go back. And we're going to see if I can't reload it again so we got it's about four five six so come on is it not shrinking there here we go I guess it's as small as it gets alright it loaded like the whole page and it took like six seconds. Let's check out my computer and see how long it takes to load YouTube. There we go. One, two, three. I got three seconds on it. So it's double the speed or double the the length to get to there, but it's a damn tablet. And six seconds on an all flash site is not bad. Um, let's see, let's try something else. Let's try joystick. One, two. Of course, there goes the mobile again. Let's turn off the mobile. So, if you don't like this browser, which I don't mind it, it's not that bad. I downloaded Dolphin. Uh, the way I got Dolphin is I first went to this website here. I also got Dropbox on there, which is pretty cool. You can get Dropbox's uh, app, but you got to go to their website to download it. Let's go ahead and click on... Uh, there it goes. This app is a little buggy, but it's, it's, a, it's like its own little market store, and it has its own apps on it. It's called Get Jar. And it's got a bunch of apps you can load onto your Kindle as well. And one of them is the browser. You can actually get a Nook, <laughs> the Nook browser for the for the Kindle. Uh, Fruit Ninja, there's a bunch of stuff on here. I went ahead and downloaded a couple things. Uh, the Facebook thing is the same. It's not an actual app, it's just a link. Um, ooh, and also, i got to show you this, guys. This is awesome. It's called Splash Top. 
What Splashtop does is it links either on your personal network or if you got a cell phone, you can actually link it through the internet no matter where you're at. Um, you can link your computer to your Kindle. And oh, that's right, it's off. That's why it's not working. Let me turn it on. I was just trying to save some. Uh, should pop up there. There we go. Check this out. That'll connect. Just give it a second. It still fails. I'm going to go ahead and exit out. Load it back up. Because my uh, program wasn't running. All right, check this out. Now I've got my full computer, and it's really sensitive, by the way, on my Kindle. And it's in, almost in real time, guys. So if you don't like the way your Kindle performs, link it up with your computer. <laughs> it's actually, it's really cool. You can watch, you can do anything that your computer can do. Hell, you can even play video games, but I don't know how you do a controller setup. Um, Let's see here. You got Firefox. It's it's just like using a normal computer. I mean, even the sounds routed to the Kindle. And you got the keyboard on there. I mean, this is really actually pretty pretty fast. The keyboard thing's down at the bottom here, and you can just type in what you want. Let's try YouTube. Yep, yep, yep. Look how quick this is. It's practically instant. Now some of the, the touch is a little wonky, but I mean, look how quick this thing is. Uh, and the scrolling is weird. You gotta use like both your fingers. And sometimes, you know, the zoom's on there. But this splash top is a lot of fun. You can connect a bunch of computers to it if you want. Even ones at your office. It's kind of like uh, go to my PC. And it's only like three three ninety nine or two ninety nine on the uh Amazon App Store. Um, what else are people complaining about with this thing? Um, let me go home here. They're complaining that um I don't know, man. I mean Ooh, Jenga, that was ten cents. Uh, you can also sideload stuff on here too, which is pretty cool. I love reading my magazine on here. I mean, I've been using the hell out of this thing, as you can tell. I put a bunch of stuff on it. I've been reading up on, you can unlock them, or root them, as they call it, to run uh, any Android operating system. And Dropbox works great. Got all my files on here, whatever I want whenever I want. Like I said, you can go to the website to get that on there. And then uh, Git Jar was pretty good. You could try that and then try this Dolphin browser, which is actually... Let's try the Dolphin browser. It might be a little quicker than... Uh, let's try Facebook. One, two, three, four, five seconds. Six, seven, uh, this is between five and seven seconds. I'm going to load up a full page of Facebook. And it's the mobile version too. Now I don't know if I can set this for. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can set it. Yeah, there we go. For desktop view. I don't know what people are talking about when it comes to the sluggish. I've only had a few issues where it kind of crawls up a bit. Let's see, webzine settings, page content. Huh. It's probably in here, I just don't know where it is. Oh, the volume button thing. Now that's another thing, I don't, what's, what's people's problem with the volume button? Yeah, there's no volume button. So what? It just takes one tap. Hey look, I just changed the volume. Oh no. 
Oh, that sucks. Oh my god. And most of the time, it's actually two taps. So you tap down here, and then you tap up here. And it's already set the volume anyways. What's the goddamn problem, people? This is this is really, really inconvenient for you? Whatever. I don't care. It's only 200 bucks. I love this thing. I even got my recipes on here. I got all kinds of... I got Django for 10 cents. Ooh, check this out. Hey, you can even watch Trade and Save whenever I want. See? There's a shop. Very cool. Sometimes the camera feeds don't pull in properly, but... For whatever reason, they work on my phone. And they work on the computer. So... Anyways, guys, <clears throat> that's a little short run of it. I don't really run music very much. I don't know, or click on the video. Oh, yeah, you can look at that. You can rent videos on Amazon. Uh, same thing with the music. I believe you can play your music from your cloud, yeah. Yeah, there's none on the device, but the cloud, my cloud, has over 3,000 songs on it. I uploaded over, what, 40 gigs? So, that's pretty kick-ass. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about the Kindle, let me know. Uh, like I said, I think it's a rock-solid product. And, yes, there are some glitches, but, you know, I expect them to push uh, updates every now and then. So, But, uh, yeah, this is Gamer Guy. Peace.